My name is Maury Gertz. Uh, I'm the chair of the Department of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, and I'm a 30-year member of the Amyloidosis Therapy Group here in Rochester. Briefly, amyloidosis is the depositing of abnormal proteins in the body. All the proteins in your body are biodegradable and recyclable, but amyloid proteins cannot be broken down by your body, and as a consequence, they accumulate or build up in the tissues. If they build up in the heart, or the kidney, or the liver, or the nerve, they'll cause those organs to function poorly. And as a consequence, the symptoms are related to those associated with the abnormal functioning of those organs. So typically, patients will have unexplained weight loss, or fatigue, or shortness of breath, or numbness and tingling in their hands and feet. And all of these are manifestations of damage to the organ because the insoluble amyloid protein is being deposited. And our treatments are designed to either try to dissolve those deposits or interrupt their production in the first place. Most individuals, when they hear about amyloidosis, have no idea what this problem represents and have to immediately go to Wikipedia or mayoclinic.org to understand the process. Amyloidosis is a very rare disorder, and so there are only a few centers in the United States that have the requisite expertise to effectively diagnose and manage these patients. What makes Mayo Clinic stand out is its integrated approach to patient care. Since amyloidosis is a multisystemic disease, it's essential that the team include kidney experts with specific knowledge of amyloidosis, heart experts, nerve experts, all of whom have extensive experience in the management of amyloidosis. In addition, Mayo Clinic brings to bear access to important new trials of new agents for the treatment of amyloidosis. We have the largest bone marrow transplant program in the United States treating amyloidosis. Our Department of Pathology has been a pioneer in developing new techniques to analyze and classify the form of amyloidosis, which is absolutely essential before any form of therapy is considered. Our infrastructure, which now includes a team of over 25 specialists that are all dedicated to the care of patients with amyloidosis, have given us an enormous knowledge base to draw from and experience so that it's rare for us to be surprised or puzzled, which ultimately translates into more effective care for our patients. Mayo Clinic's mission, which is that the needs of the patient come first, is embodied in the type of care that we provide. And because we have such a large amyloidosis population, we're able to offer them therapies that simply aren't available at other centers where the number of patients seen are one or two per year. Some of our current trials include antibody therapy, new interfering messenger RNAs, which is essentially non-chemotherapy for the treatment of amyloidosis. We now have patients who are surviving well beyond 15 years since their diagnosis of amyloidosis and effective stem cell transplantation. 